And right here is the first bucket standing up. But underneath it is some really good diamond ore and it's full of yellow diamonds. It's like a shoe. All right, I got a shoe guys. Yeah, I'm gonna dig all this out. Leave nothing behind. That's a good reason why my diamonds are glowing. Look at all these other minerals glowing. Welcome back to another adventure, miners, prospectors, and rock counters. It's always great to see you back at the channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you like what you see in this video and you decide to subscribe. It is Memorial Day. This time of year, we normally receive a lot of rainfall. And here recently, a man found a yellow two carat diamond here at the Crater of Diamonds. And that diamond is around probably ten to $15,000 uncut. Look like some inclusions and maybe some carbon. It may be one of those diamonds that you don't want to get cut. It's beautiful the way it is, naturally out of the ground. In this video, we're gonna go back to where I found those buckets standing up. I dug a hole my last trip. I found some buckets standing upright and I got up underneath a couple of them and got the diamond ore. It is amazing. And I got a five point yellow diamond. It's not flawless. It looked to be flawless at first, in the digital microscope we can definitely see some flaws on the skin internally it's not too bad but there's definitely some flaws on the skin and it's a little melted on the corner if you'd like to see more videos like this be sure and click that thumbs up button all right let's get down to the spot and start digging getting the tools that i'll be needing to dig the hole this hole i brought my sharpshooter so we'll see if it helps any it should and of course the custom tools that I make, forks, stabbers, jabbers, and crushers. It's rained a lot since I've been down here last. I can't even really see where my last hole was. I'm thinking it's this flat spot right here. Probed around and it's crunchy. Hear that? There it went through it. It's just more crunch. There's just solid gravel down here. I probably dug out 19 buckets of just pure rocks. And I got that beautiful yellow diamond. So I'm hoping there's some more. Come over here. Ooh. That's what we want right there. Man. Almost four feet down. The gravel's about four feet down. I want to try to find those buckets and get those buckets pulled out. At least try to get some of that diamond ore that's underneath the buckets because uh, early miner definitely put those buckets there to cover up some good diamond ore. He may know that's where those yellow diamonds are. I studied my videos and this is the spot for sure. So I definitely want to come up this way because those buckets are out here. They're definitely out that way. But there's some good gravel over here, so I need to just dig all this out 20 feet down and get everything. When you go to dig out a hole like this with no water, it's so easy, this stuff just comes right out. Look at this. See? Look at that. Just look at it. And this is one of the top fifth heaviest soils in the world. I mean, that right there, 35 pounds. Ugh, I've already moved about 100 pounds or 200 pounds. Yeah, I'm gonna dig all this out. Leave nothing behind. It's like every foot you go down, you gotta go three feet out. It's a big wide hole. If I wanna go four feet down, I gotta have this thing like 15 feet wide. They have to realize some people cannot do math whatsoever. We just cannot do math. We cannot figure anything about math, mathematics, minus, plus, 
we just some people just don't know and I'm one of them that's why I have a tape measure about a foot and a half down and I've already hit some uh, I've already hit some gravel over here at the end of my probe but I think it's a a real thin layer there's the stuff we want oh man Ooh, hope that don't spring a leak if you go back and look at the video right here digging a hole and found a fluorescent diamond green diamond and we hit a natural spring with this probe we had water coming up on all sides corners there we go that found that sounds like a bucket i feel like a bucket with wood and clay inside it oh oh that went through the bucket oh Oh, 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 that's what we want to get to right there. I better get to work. Three feet to go. I found my first artifact. Let's take a look and see what it could be. Looks like a shoe. All right. I got a shoe, guys. Look at it. Oh, I thought there's two pair. All right, a, a shoe. All right, I got a shoe. Nice. Nicely well preserved shoe. Anybody uh looking for a I don't know, size 4 shoe? I will go put this in the lost and found at the Crater of Diamonds. All right, first artifact. Looks like 1995. Oh, about two and a half feet down. And as you can see, the soil color has changed to like a greenish. And I'm starting to see gravel in that layer. Starting to see pieces of uh, buckets. So I'm digging away, making some steps over here. And look at this huge chunk of red jasper. That's got some red to it. Huge chunk of jasper that's got some red. The red is from the iron staining, which makes it a little bit heavier versus the other jaspers. That's why we like seeing these red jaspers compared to the light brown or the black or different colors. Red and the darker the red, the better. Okay, so I'm down in the hole. I'm about oh, three foot down. I found one bucket standing up so far. Let's take a look at it closer. About three foot down. And right here is the first bucket standing up. And there's good diamond ore underneath the buckets. The buckets are filled with clay and plywood. But underneath it is some really good diamond ore and it's full of yellow diamonds. All right, so I finally come across a bucket. I'm thinking the others are going to be more to the south, and maybe there could be the other two from my last hole could be to the side of this one. Here's the old handle from it, or one of them. I think it's from the bucket I just dug up. The handle ripped out of the ground and start getting the diamond ore that's underneath the bucket. So I'm thinking I can just do this. All right, there's the bucket. Wow, 
that's been there a long time. A bucket that's been buried. And it's just full of plywood and mud. And that's more trash now out of the diamond mine. There's bucket number one pulled out of the hole. Come right out of there. Time to get some gravel. All right, there's the first bucket. And I dug to the south and found two more. This one's ready to be ripped out. And you see right back in there, there's one more. And there could be three or four more buckets going that way. I mean, they dug some really big holes back when they did this. So it's hard to tell how many buckets are still down there. They may have tapped into it years after burying them and there's just half of the buckets left. I don't know, but we're definitely into something good it's where the big diamonds are at get this other bucket ripped out hopefully it'll come out like that other one did oh yeah definitely don't want them to bust up and break up in pieces oh nice Whew. Feel any gravel in the uh, I don't know, there's a little bit of gravel in the bucket, but mainly mud and plywood. Eight buckets out of the hole, and I'm going to go ahead and wash the two buckets that I pulled out. I may even wash the shoe because there's some gravel in that shoe. Some weird gravel for sure, different. Maybe that's why it's got yellow diamonds. The material is even kind of a light color, like yellow. All right, we're here in the gravel. It's crunchy. Where's it at? down there it's gonna get this fluff off of it it's got gravel in it so I want to save it oh yeah you can hear it any luck man how's it going good oh just digging away deep hole <laughs> yeah Yeah, pretty sticky.
And here is the gravel layer that I'm working in. Believe it or not, we have gravel in it. It's here, down there. So I'm just working on getting it broken up and placed in my buckets. You want a dollar? Yeah. Yeah, it's a small shovel. I won't do much good out here. And there's the hole getting it filled up. Time for another break. Now they come down to check on my hole and they messed up their little four wheeler. <laughs> I wasn't able to get as many buckets as I wanted. The rangers and the park staff came down and I had to fill in my hole. He's still down there on the tractor doing something. But anyways, that's what happened. So I wasn't able to finish the hole. Here's the buckets. Here's the two that came out of the hole that's been buried for 20 years plus. And this is what was underneath those buckets. A little bit of red to that jasper. There's gravel in there. Look at that big rock. That's good. We're seeing big rocks and little rocks. That means it's probably not been worked. If it was all the same size, it's probably been worked and it'd be a, probably an old tailings pile down there. There's the other buckets there and we got, and there's a couple down here from the hole. The other four are from the James Archer hole went down and got some more of that. Always got to get some of that. Okay, here's the second bucket that I pulled out of the ground. Wash it and see what's in it. <laughs> We've got one rock. Play. It's just junk, guys. I'm not gonna wash all that. It's just junk. I'm like, nope, there's nothing in that. It's just junk. Time to move on to the good stuff.
be sure and remove all the mud out of your buckets because if you don't, when you stack them, the mud will create an incredible force and you won't be able to pull the buckets apart. Wow, this bucket here is loaded. Gravel. Big and small. bit more mud to break up. It's ready. Loaded gravel. Bucket number six. Okay, it's got quite a bit of gravel in it. Let's see what we can get out of it. A bunch of mud. Right behind you just so you know. Oh. Okay. Red Jasper. That one's cool. It's got like half and half. Got lots of good gravel. Wow, that one's cool. All kinds of lines. No agate yet. Or quartz. And here it is cleaned. And look at all the gravel. That bucket was loaded. And check out this really clean piece of agate. I'm gonna give that piece of agate away. One lucky subscriber that leaves a comment. And agate's a good indicator, not because it's heavy, but it will tell you what type of diamonds you could get. This agate is really clean and not burn up, meaning it didn't get really hot. So your diamonds have a better chance of being clean, flawless, and not burn up. Because this agate is still in a good, clean stage. A lot of the agate out here got so hot, they're brown and black and they look nothing like this. So that's why agate is a good indicator, not because it's heavy. Bottom classifier clean, and look at all the gravel. This is so far the best bucket as far as gravel. Not sure about the heavy indicators. There's a couple down in there. Lots of red jasper. I mean, just look at all the gravel. You won't be able to wash 20 buckets a day of this. There's no way. Here's a look at all the heavy minerals from all that gravel. I mean, it's just loaded. We got spinel, hematite, you got some magnetite in there. All the dark indicators we like to see. Okay, I got six more buckets to wash out of the uh, hole I dug. There's pieces of the bucket. Looks like a Coke can. But yeah, this stuff's looking pretty good bit of gravel this is more of the uh, top layer a lot of fluff we could see a diamond you never know till you get it all washed till you get it all worked down and centered up and when you get out here sometimes you'll see concentrated material like this that somebody has worked the day before now that miner may be a regular and knows what he's doing and it may be a beginner and they're leaving behind good diamond ore so what I like to do is scrape this off into my buckets and recenter the material because there has been big diamonds found on these piles you see all those piles people just don't know what they're doing and there's diamonds just sometimes sitting right there 
All you got to do is pick it up. I was able to get all the buckets washed. Working material now from my hole where I discovered buckets buried. And I found a fancy yellow diamond out of that material. Well, I went back to the crater and I had four more buckets to get washed from that same hole. And this is it right here. I have just a little bit of material left of center up and that'll be all of that from that hole. And we have another diamond. So far that's two diamonds out of that hole. I'm gonna pause it and see if you can spot the diamond. Yep, right there. Right there, that's the diamond. Looks like it's gonna be a white. Not a fancy yellow this time, but that's still a really nice diamond. And this gravel is just amazing. There could be another diamond in here. My 46 diamond. Looks pretty clean. Let's take a look at it under the digital microscope. All right, let's take the spoon and go ahead and scoop this diamond out the center. There it is in the spoon. Beautiful diamond. There could be more. I'm going to scan over that some more and hopefully see another one. Here is the diamond under the digital microscope. You can clearly see the facets. That is how the crater diamonds will determine if your diamond is a real resorbed diamond. We also hear nothing will stick to Arkansas diamonds. Well, as you can see, there is a piece of hair stuck to this diamond. The smaller diamonds will stick to your spoon, your vial, your finger. If it's wet, it will stick. So you need to be very careful handling your diamonds and never use tweezers to pick up a resorbed Arkansas diamond. But to make things worse, the sun has set. So I'll have to continue this tomorrow. It's getting hard to see what I got. So I'm just gonna have to wait and continue in the morning. Man, this one right here looks really good. Lots of bigger rocks. That's gonna be bigger diamonds. The sun has set. It's getting pretty dark out. Here's the same center where we just scooped the diamond out of. I'm gonna use my UV light and see what all types of minerals we got that are fluorescent. Oh my gosh. Whoa, that is so cool. This is awesome. I mean, there are just so many fluorescent minerals within this gravel layer. That's a good reason why my diamonds are glowing. Look at all these other minerals glowing. And you have to see this with your own eyes. Oh, look at that one. Thing is glowing orange. Something orange. Unreal. And like I was saying, you have to see this with your own eyes. When you get my pay dirt, be sure and pick up a UV light under my uh, description of the videos. Under my description, there'll be a link in the descriptions. You can click on that and get your UV light, get your bags of gravel, and you can do the same experiment that I'm doing. And it's absolutely awesome. 
Let's check out this one over here. Oh, wow. All kinds of fluorescent minerals. Wow, that one's really glowing. That thing right there is glowing like a diamond. May have a diamond right there. But see, there's so many other minerals that glow. So using the UV light to find your diamonds isn't... <clears throat> God damn. Fuck. Isn't really the best way to find your diamonds. Because there's so many other minerals that are glowing. Finish up. Finishing up the material from the hole where I discovered the buckets. We picked off a small diamond right off of that center. We looked at all these heavy minerals with the UV light, which is really cool. Most of that was glowing, all those lighter minerals, the calcite. But yeah, these centers are awesome. I might have one more half of a center. That's all we got from the first hole with the buckets. And then we have the material that was actually underneath the buckets. And we're gonna get that centered up next. Man, that is some awesome gravel. There's the last flip. So we got two diamonds out of 20 buckets. That's pretty good odds. I've done better. And here's the last center. I cannot believe I got two diamonds out of that hole. I'm gonna let this dry really good. But I don't see anything off the top. Now let's get the rest of this material work that was underneath the buckets. It could be a lot better and it could be about the same. You stay off that center, that's what I thought. Gonna have some wind noise. Wind's picking up big time. Here's the material that I got from underneath the buckets. And it's pretty much identical to just to what we were just working in. It's a couple feet away, but that gravel vein may be pretty big. I might be seeing more heavies in these than I did over here. This is a couple centers in one. That's why there's more of a bullseye versus these but yeah this gravel's looking good there's probably one more flip I've only got nine buckets plus the two buckets that were buried and there was nothing but mud in those old buckets getting the diamond registered and it turned out to be a yellow five point here it is under the microscope nice clean water trough don't get to see that very often All that material goes right out there, pouring diamonds back into the search field. Loaded. Check that one out. Man, it's a beauty. Nice and rounded, really smooth. Really nice diamond.
that's at least a 